Welcome student, this is the first video of class 12. The chapter that I am going to start today is solution. Although it is not the first chapter, it is the second chapter, but we are starting the, we are starting the solution as a first chapter. Solution, the meaning of solution in this chapter, first you have to know the meaning of solution. What is the meaning of solution? Solution is a mixture of uh, solute and solvent. It is a homogeneous mixture of two or more components which can be solid, liquid or gas. As for example, sugar in water is a solution. Mixture of uh, salt in water is, an ex is a solution. Mixture of uh, uh, hydrochloric acid in water is also a solution. So in this chapter, uh, we have to, the first topic that we have to know, that is very important also, is the concentration of solution. How to express the concentration of solution, the methods by which we can express the concentration of solutions. Okay, so uh, to express the concentration of solutions, we have to take the help of some terms. These terms are the helpful terms, these are the helpful methods by which we can express the concentration of the solution. The meaning of concentration is that the amount of solute which is present in a given amount of uh, solution. Concentration can be low, so it will be called dilute solution. Concentration can be high, so it will be called concentrated solutions. So, today we are going to talk about those, so those important and helpful terms by which we can express the concentration of, a, of the solutions. So, these terms are first, percentage strength, second will be molarity, then it will be molality, then normality, then mole fraction, parts per million and strength in liter. So, total seven, or seven uh, um, uh, concentration Terms are there, those by which we can express the concentration of the solution. If their value are low, so the concentration of the solution will be low, so the solution will be called dilute solution and if their value is high, so the concentration uh, of the solution will be high and the solution will be called concentrated solutions. So first, uh, we are starting the first topic, first concentration terms is percentage strength. Percentage strength, it is already we have learned this topic in the class 9, it is very simple topic, kind of revision of class 9, 10. So the definition of percentage strength is, okay, the number of pers of the solute dissolved in 100 parts of the solution. Why 100 parts? Because it is percentage. So here everything will be counted in 100 because it is percentage. Now, percentage strength are three types. First, mass percentage, which is denoted by W by W. Next, mass by volume percentage, which is denoted by W by V. And the last is volume percentage. So, these are the three types of percentage strength. Mass percentage, so let's start the mass percentage. Mass percentage, which is denoted by W by W. One thing before to start these three things, first thing is that okay, in the in these three terms, one W by W, W by V and V by V. One thing is that okay, in the in the numerator, we going to explain, we're going to express the solute. And in the denominator, we're going to explain we're going to express the solution. So here W by W means here solute will be expressed in terms of mass. And the solution is also expressed in the terms of uh, mass because both are at W. So W by W, solute expressed in mass and the solution is also expressed in the form of mass. So let's start the first definition of the mass percentage. The definition of mass percentage is okay, the number of parts by mass of the solute dissolved in 100 parts by mass of the solution. Again, I'm giving a simple example. Suppose we have 60%, 60% W by W HCl solution. So what does it mean? It means that 60 gram of the HCl solute dissolve in 100, 100 gram of the HCl solution. So it is a very simple topic. Now how to how to get the mathematical formula of mass percentage W by W. So it is very simple. 
to get the formula mass percentage of no we have to take the mass of the solute in gram and mass of the solution also in gram into 100 because it is percentage okay after completing the mass percentage we are moving towards the next is mass by volume percentage and which is denoted by w by v if we see w by v it is very simple by only seeing the w by v we can able to know what is mass by volume percentage because w by v so w by v means as it is w by v so here the numerator will be numer in the in, in numerator w is present so here solute is expressed in the form of mass and the uh, solution is also expressed in the form of uh, not mass in the form of volume so what will be the definition of mass by volume percentage is the number of parts by mass of the solute because it is w dissolve in 100 parts by volume because it is w by v of the solution what will be the working formula of w by v mass by volume percentage because these are important for the numerical so w by v is mass of the solute in gram w by v so volume of the solution in ml into 100 so in every case you have to multiply with the 100 volume percentage is same like mass percentage and mass by volume percentage I have not written the uh, definition because it is same as like the previous two in case of volume percentage what will be the definition by the same we can make the definition so in this case as it is v by v volume percentage so solute will be expressed in case in terms of volume and the solution also be expressed in terms of volume so the definition will be okay, the number of parts by volume of the solute dissolve in 100 parts by volume of the solution what is the working formula working formula will be volume of the solute in ml by volume of the solution in ml into 100 so, so by the same we can write that also it is not written so you can write that thing as for example suppose I am giving I am taking the example of 30 percent C2H5O8 solution aqueous solution WB by V what is the meaning of this statement 30 percent V by V Ethyl alcohol, you know the formula C2H5OH means ethyl alcohol, aqueous solution. Aqueous solution means water act as a solvent. So 30 ml of ethyl alcohol dissolve in 100 ml of the ethyl alcohol water solution. So it is very simple because already you have done in the class 9, it's just a revision. So mass percentage, in case of mass percentage, every time you have to multiply with the 100. After completing the mass percentage, we are moving towards the next topic that is the molarity. Molarity also we have already learned in the class in 11. Molarity definition. Let's start the molarity definition. Number of moles. It is different from the mass percentage. In, in case of molarity, molality in both the case, we have to take number of moles. So the number of moles of the solute dissolve in 1000 ml or 1 liter of the solution. Definition you have already learned in the class 11. One more time I am giving you the solution. Definition. Now the working formula will be molarity is equal to number of moles of the solute by volume of the solution in ml into 1000. One more thing, if you, write, if you take the volume in liter, very important, then 1000. There is no need to multiply with the if you take the volume in uh, liter because in case of numerical in case of numerical when the numerical problem will be uh, okay, you find out the molarity so you have to find out the number of moles of the solute and then you have to find out the find out the volume of the solution either in ml if you find out the volume volume of the solution in ml so thousand you have to multiple multiply you have to go with a thousand but if uh, it is given in the liter so no need to multiply with the multiply with the thousand only it is volume of the solution you just put the value so this is the molarity definition 
one more thing is very important one very, one very important question uh, regarding the molarity ke molarity is temperature dependent or independent this is the question this is a board question molarity is temperature dependent or independent uh, whether molarity uh, the value of molarity varies with the temperature or not so as you see in the definition there is a volume term so it is very important volume is volume can be changed with the temperature so as volume can be changed with the temperature so molarity also can be changed with temperature so molarity is dependent term temperature dependent term or independent term molarity is very important is temperature dependent term it's not an independent term that means if you change the temperature molarity also be change okay so this is the definition of molarity one more thing very important how to find out the number of moles student face many times problem okay, how to find out the number of moles because in the numerical problem number of moles direct value will not be given in case of instead of number of moles the mass of the solute will be given so that time you have to use a simple formula that you have learned in the class 9 that is number of moles is equal to given mass by molar mass so just you have to use this formula and you will get the number of moles of the solute acha next we have after the molarity we have the next number 3 concentration terms is molality denoted by small m the definition of molality is the number of moles of the solute dissolved in 1000 g or 1 kg of the solvent here it is very important solvent okay so the working formula of molality is number of moles of the solute divided by mass of the solvent mass of the solvent in gram into 1000 if you take in kg so no need to multiply with the 1000 the unit of molality is mole per kg is very important the mole per kg the unit of molarity is mole per kg and the unit of molarity is mole per liter one very important question about the molality molality is temperature dependent or independent molality is temperature independent molality small m is temperature independent because you see the definition there is no volume term both numerator and denominator represent the mass term so there is no volume term so molality is temperature independent so molality never change with the temperature okay after molality we are moving towards the number 4 terms concentration terms is normality okay the normality is denoted by capital n the definition is the number of gram equivalent of the solute dissolved in 1 liter of the solution again it is 1 liter of the solution as like molarity okay number of gram equivalent it is very important term number of gram equivalent the formula is number of gram equivalent of the solute by volume of the solution in ml into 1000 now one very important thing how to get how to find out the gram equivalent value so for that you have to use a very simple formula this formula you can use ne what is any any is the number of gram equivalent because in terms of numerical problem when you going to solve the numerical problem today also i am giving some numerical problem so in terms of in when you when when you solve the numerical problem uh, the number of gram equivalent how to find out that for the number of gram equivalent the formula is w by e w is the mass of the solute e is the equivalent weight of the solute so equivalent weight is very important here as like in molarity you have to find out the number of moles so in case of normality you have to find out the equivalent weight formula is same as like number of gram equivalent ne is equal to w by e w is the mass of the solute which will be given to you in the numerical and e is the equivalent weight that you have to find out 
So you have to find out the equivalent weight, you have to take the value of equivalent weight and then you can find out the number of gram equivalent. Number of gram equivalent you put here, volume of the solution will be given to you either in ml or in liter you put and use the formula, normality, normality will be find out. Now one very important thing, how to find out the equivalent weight? For the equivalent weight, one formula is it is there in the class 11, that formula is a equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight by the Z factor. If you use this formula, you can get the equivalent weight. Suppose for example, if you want to get the H2SO4, E of H2SO4 is equal to M of H2SO4 by, by the Z factor. Now how to get the Z factor? For the Z factor, you have to dissociate the H2SO4. H2SO4 when it is completely dissociate, completely dissociate it will give 2H plus and SO4 double minus. So what is the total charge of the cation? It is equal to the Z. What is the total charge of the cation? Very simple, very carefully you see this. Okay, this is the total charge of the cation. So Z, how to calculate the Z? From the total charge of the cation or the total charge of the anion. Either charge or valency, same. Total valency of the cation or total valency of the anion. So here you see, there is one H plus. So the valency of every H plus is one, but, but there is two H plus. So the total valency of the cation is two. So here the Z factor is two. Now, M of H2SO4, you know 98 and Z is 2. So 98 by 2 is 49. So if you are able to calculate the Z factor, you can get the equivalent weight value. Moving towards next, the next topic is the next concentration uh, terms is mole fraction. It is a number 5. Num total 7 we have. Number 5 is mole fraction denoted by X. The ratio of the ratio of number of moles of one component to the total number of moles of all the component present in the solution is equal to the mole fraction. Suppose for in the uh, in the in case of solution there is two only two component is present one solute and one is solvent. So in case of suppose A is solute. So mole fraction of solute, how to calculate the mole fraction of solute? The number of solute by the number of solute by plus number of solvent. So number of solute by the total number of uh, uh, number of uh, number of moles of the solute by the total number of moles of the solution because number of solute plus number of solvent is equal to total number of moles of the solution. By the same way, if you find out, if you want to find out the number of uh, mole fraction of solvent, so the formula is number of moles of the solvent by number of solute plus number of moles of the solvent. So it is very simple. Okay, mole fraction is also very important for the numerical. So whenever you want to find out the mole fraction, mole fraction, how to calculate the mole fraction? Number of moles of that component by the total number of moles of all the component. Okay. Moving towards next, number 6 is strength in liter. The definition is the amount of solute in grams present in 1 liter of the solution. Here it is written already in liter, so it will be 1 liter of the solution. The amount of the solute in grams present in 1 liter of the solution. For example, suppose 4 grams of the solute present in 2 